Claude Code just landed in Cursor. As part of the Claude 4 release on May 22nd, Anthropic announced full integration of Claude Code into Cursor, bringing everything it can do into one of the most popular AI-powered code editors out there. Since Cursor is built on VS Code, this means full support for a classic VS Code and other forks like Windsurf. And if you are a JetBrains user, Claude Code now also works with PyCharm, WebStorm, IntelliJ, and Goland. This is huge because you no longer have to play the game of, is Cloud Code better, or Cursor, or Windsurf? Which one is the best? Which one should I even use? You still have everything that makes Cursor great. Smart autocomplete, AI rewrites, code suggestion, and so on. But now, you also get the full capabilities of Cloud Code, plus new integration features like inline diff views and real-time context from the lines you select. So this is a upgrade that makes working with Cursor even more powerful. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up Claude Code in Cursor, then we'll dive into some of the key features this integration unlocks. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step that you want to do is make sure you are using the latest version of Claude Code. So in your terminal, just run Claude Update. And this is just going to update Claude to the latest version. Now, one thing to note here is that if you are logged into Claude, make sure you log out first. Next, open Cursor and open up any project. For me, I just have this animal facts that I've opened. Then open the integrated terminal. So this is not your systems terminal. This is the terminal within Cursor. If you don't see this, go to View, Terminal. Okay, so in the integrated terminal, just run Claude and you'll go through the same sign-in process. So you see here, let me just make this a little bigger. Uh, so you just choose letter dark mode, and then here you choose if you want to sign in with API or your max plan. I'm just going to do the max plan. So you sign in, you hit authorize, and then once it authorized, you go back here, you hit enter, you go through, enter, and when it's all done, you'll see a confirmation screen, and that's it. Claude code is now fully integrated inside Cursor. Okay, now that it's installed, let's take a look at some of the new features that come with this integration. First, there's a status indicator at the bottom right in your Claude Code window. This little circle right here, this indicator shows exactly where Claude is focused in your code base. So right now, it doesn't show anything since there's no files opened. But watch what happens when I open up a file. So I'm just going to open up a file. So I'm going to go here, here, just go here. I'm just going to open up this animal routes. So when I open up this file, that status bar has updated to show the current file name. That's because Cloud Code now has live context of what file you're currently working on. So if I open up another file, you see here, it's going to switch to that file. And if I switch back, it's going to switch back to here. Before, if you wanted to ask questions about a specific file, you had to specify that to Claude. You had to do something like this. You had to say at animal routes, you know, like tell me what does this file do, right? You had to write something like this. But now, because we're using Claude code inside Cursor, we can just say, what does this file do? And this works because Claude code knows that you are in the animal routes file. It has context of that. Okay, so let's run this request and see what Claude code does. So it's doing some exploration and just give it a few seconds and let's see what it does. Still going, it's a little bit slow. So let it work. Okay, so it finished. So our request was to ask, what does this file do? But if we look at Claude Code's response, it knows that it's looking into animalroutes.py. And the reason it knows that is because of this right here. It already has context that is in this file. So this is a really nice feature. You no longer have to constantly tell Claude which file you're working on. It just knows. Okay, let's look at another cool feature. In this animal routes file, I'm going to select a few lines of code and take a look at what happens in a status indicator. Claude code knows that I've selected those four lines of code in my file. This means if I ask something like, what does this do? Claude is going to know I'm referring to those exact lines. So you see here, select four lines from this, what does this do? So this is a really nice feature because before, if you had a question about a specific function or a block of code, you had to spell out everything manually just to give it the right context. Now, just select the block of code, ask the question, and Claude can figure it out. Okay, let's check out another powerful feature, diff view. So for this file right here, I'm gonna ask Claude code to add some meaningful comments to all the functions. So I'm gonna write, please add some meaningful comments to all the functions here and just run it. 
Now remember, we didn't specify which file to look into, but it knows to look into animal routes because we have this active. So that's really cool. So just give it a few seconds and it's gonna run. Still running. So Claude code has finished running. And now instead of just instantly changing the file, it actually opened up a new tab. And for those that have not used Git before, this screen could be a little confusing, but in essence, this is just telling you what changes Claude code plans to do. It's split into two views. The left side is the original file and the right side is the proposed changes that Claude code plans to add. So all the stuff in green are stuff that Claude code plans to add into your file and all the stuff in red were the original stuff that was in this file. So within this tab, what you can do, you can navigate between the various code blocks of changes. So you can see here, you can kind of just go through each one. And what you can also do is for each block of change, you could click on this revert block button. When you click on that button, it's going to get rid of that green block, which is the proposed changes from Claude code. So you can go through each block of change and make your updates as needed this way. And once you have reviewed all your changes, you can choose either to accept or reject the changes. So you could do that either here or actually here. So there's two ways to do it. I'm just gonna do it here. So if I hit yes right here, what this is gonna do is gonna tell Claude to make those changes into the file now. Okay, so it finished running and you can see that in the actual file that now there's these new blocks of code that I've added. So for every single one, these were all the things that got added by Claude code. And if you rather skip the review process, you can set Claude to auto accept all the changes just like before. So what you wanna do to get that back is just hit shift tab, and this is gonna say auto accept on. But personally, I don't recommend keeping auto accept on by default. It's way more valuable to see what exactly Claude is doing, and it keeps you in control of your code base. And finally, one last handy feature is that you can now link Claude code to cursor from an external terminal. Here's how to do that. First, open your external terminal and navigate to your project directory. So I'm gonna go here, open up my projects folder, and then here, the one that I'm working on is called Animal Facts. So just navigate here. And once you're in this project directory, just run Claude as usual. And then once I'm in Claude code, I am going to run slash IDE. So after you run this, you'll be prompted to choose which IDE you want to connect to. So for your IDE to show up in this list, you have to make sure that you have installed the Claude code plugin in Cursor, VS Code, or PyCharm, or whatever it is. So in my case, I've only installed it in Cursor, so that's why I only see Cursor. So when I hit this, now Claw Code is connected to Cursor in this external terminal. So let's take a look. So if I was to open up Cursor, if I go here, and let's just say I select these things right here, and I go back, it's gonna say 10 lines selected, right? So if I just select, let's just say this line right here, it's gonna say one line selected. And then, because right now I'm in my animal routes folder, this is it. If I switch to fact routes, this is gonna update. So like, why would you use this? So this is a great option if you prefer working with a separate terminal window, especially if you find the integrated terminal in cursor a bit cramped. So that's a quick look at how to get Claude code up and running inside Cursor, along with some of the key features that make this integration so powerful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Hope this was helpful and see you all in the next one.